Hey guys, what's up? I want to say welcome to Whispering Willow Farms, but we are not at our farm this weekend. We are at our friends Jess and Maya's Roots and Refuge farm sitting while they are out of town. And when they asked us, I got all kind of schoolgirl giddy. I was like, yes. Um, all the animals, all the things. I was just so excited. Uh, we were over here the other day when their pigs had their babies and so it's just really fun. The girls really enjoyed that. So being able to hang out here for the weekend, check on everything, really just get a day in the life. I am super excited for it. Um, I'm also really excited for pretty coffee mugs that I don't have. Uh, but I just wanted to take you guys along with me, hang out with me while we hang out at Roots and Refuge. I'm actually needing to harvest some peppers for dinner. Uh, we're making chili and I can't find baskets anywhere. And I know, <laughs> I know good and well, Jessica Sowards has some baskets somewhere. So right now I'm rummaging through uh, the greenhouse trying to find something I can throw some stuff into. And meanwhile, getting incredibly distracted by all the beauty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? When we were over here the other day, these literally took my breath away i honestly don't even feel like this video does them justice look at that absolutely stunning everything in here looks so lush and beautiful i think it's really cool how they grow in these raised beds in here uh really different than what i'm used to but seeing how well they do it's it's really really cool so i didn't actually find any baskets <laughs> So I'm just going to do what Jessica does and use my shirt. Uh, Nathan said we needed some bell peppers for the chilies and then I, she does this blistering uh, peppers like shishito peppers with this really good sauce. I'm not, I've tried to make the sauce on my own a couple times and did not do it as well but since she has an abundance of peppers right now I think I'm going to try to make that tonight for a little appetizer. It's crazy to me the weather's been dipping down quite a bit and then spiking up some but the fact that all her peppers are hanging on so well is really impressive. Last time too I we came over here a while ago and I was harvesting the, with the, her and she's like oh hang on some of these are hot and I think I ate every single hot one that there was so I'm kind of just guessing I really don't know which ones are hot and which ones aren't but that's okay. I'll just get some anyways. I guess I could taste it. Oh no, that's that's fine. If it would have been hot, y'all would have seen y'all would have seen me like go running <laughs> running to get something to to drink. Look at these, aren't they pretty? All right, there's a good little mess. I'm actually gonna come down here and. Get some banana peppers for June. Those are her favorite to eat. She was munching on some of those yesterday. Y'all, these things are massive. Look at that. June's teething right now, so these are like her favorite thing just to carry around and gnaw on. Um, I'll just add that to the collection. Jessica, does this make you proud? <laughs> she makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. I'm like losing peppers on either side of my shirt here. All right. I actually need to go <laughs> get some eggs now. You want to go help me get eggs? Do what? You want to help me get eggs? Absolutely. <laughs> I made you coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, that is one of our favorite things, is just trying out all these new mugs. Although we did go visit our favorite potters today over at Old Dog Pottery. Now I'm broke. They are about to like be pausing their shop. Uh, they're going on a little mini vacation and then try, they'll probably be, I think off for Christmas or the holidays or something. And so Nathan and I needed to go and stock up on everything that we wanted um, and also get some Christmas gifts. So that was really fun. I was like, we did that on our way out here. And yeah, they're just such really good people. We'll link them below. Some of our favorite mugs come from them. And then they make these really cool honey pots. Uh, so, I was trying to talk him into letting me get another one. Because <laughs> everybody needs two honey pots. Because, uh, really, I mean, you do. You just don't ever know when you need another honey pot. <laughs> Alright, let's 
Hey girlies and boy. Oh yeah, there's lots of good eggs in here. Oh my goodness, check this out. Look, their chickens actually know where to lay. Took a little haul. Check this one out, y'all. She had mentioned this on uh, her vlog the other day that this one had just started laying. I know you guys really can't tell. It is the most beautiful green. Yeah, you can kind of see it better when I moved outside. Check that out. We just got some Americana chicks, and I'm hoping that this is the color that they're going to be. Uh, wow, these are just beautiful. All right, how many did we get? A dozen. You think, you think it's a dozen, or did you count? Baker's dozen. Look at that. That was a pretty good haul. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? I know sometimes when you watch people on video, Everything just seems dreamy and sometimes you question like, oh, is that real life? Um, or maybe that's just me, I don't know. But I can tell you being here, uh, seeing all the animals, just doing all the chores and seeing all of the hard work that Jess and I have poured into this place, I can tell you that it, it really is that dreamy. It really is simply that beautiful. Um, I'm actually just kind of walking through the garden now, taking in, taking in everything. I feel like for me personally, I put a lot of work into my garden and into my farm. And one of my greatest joys is being able to share it with you guys. I love when people come over and I, that's the first thing I want to do. I'm like, you want to go to the garden? You want to go take a walk? And it's because I love it so much that I want to share you guys, share it with you guys. And I feel like Jessica is the same way. I feel like she knows how much it inspires you guys um, and how much beauty it brings to your life and I know that right now she would probably be really happy that I was getting so much enjoyment out of her garden even though it took lots of work uh, hours and dedication and all those things just being in this space right now it truly is magical uh, seasons are shifting things are beginning to die and new things are starting to grow and it's just one of those really, really sweet times on a farm when you're embracing the seasons, uh, you're embracing the beauty, even the beauty in the dying things. And I know that may sound silly, but as I go through and I'm seeing like her basil start to dry up and go to seed, I'm reminded that that is going to bring forth a lot of bounty next year. Um, I see beans that are drying and hanging on trellises and it just is a promise of what's to come. It's a promise uh, for the growth that she'll have next season and that you guys will get to see and then I'll get to witness and see. And I don't know, there's just something really special about that. So Charlie has been really excited to see the little piglets. We were here uh, yesterday. I actually saw them woo, be born, uh, but she missed it. She was playing and so she was really excited to go see the piggies. Are you ready? What are you most excited about? I'm most excited to see the baby piggies. The baby piggies? Okay, we have to be really quiet though, okay? Because we don't want to scare the mama. You know how after mommy had Ivy, I just needed lots of rest. So you have to make sure we're quiet. We let the piggies rest, the mom and piggies. Okay. okay, let's go. Oh look, she's getting protective, isn't she? She said, those are my babies. You better watch so out. Right there, oh my goodness. <laughs> Aren't they sweet? They're so cute. Yes, they are. Jimbo, what, do you think? <laughs> what do you think about those? Oh, oh. is that a piggy? Huh? You want to get in there and play Good with them? Good job. Look at mama. Good mama taking care of those babies. Nathan's coming down here checking on the other pig who decided to have her little piglets um, in the tote. I was actually able to experience that yesterday and um, being a doula, I just really appreciate birth and really love it no matter if it's an animal or a human. I just get really excited. Uh, so it was really, really cool seeing that yesterday. Look at the... Um,
Hey guys, it is actually the next morning. I am making my coffee right now and getting ready to milk the goats. So I'm just gonna take you guys along as we do some of some of the farm chores. Hey big guys, what are y'all doing? Hey baby. Hey. Yeah, you, oh, you are deprived from attention, huh? Good morning farm. It is quite breathtaking here in the morning. I got up and watched the sunrise and it was beautiful. I'm gonna give you food. Look, she's looking at me like, um, <laughs> aren't you missing stuff? So rookie mistake, I forgot the milking pan, but I did pick up a really cute little helper. It has been a long time. Hey, you're right, mama. Since I have milked a goat. This one's a little jumpy. I just think she's not really used to me. It's probably part of it. I can see her milk thing. It's too hard. <laughs> well, that's how mommy has to get the milk out. Mm -hmm. She's okay. She's used to it. Well, she used to it. When she gets older, she'll See? Be used Look, you see how mommy's filling it up and then pushing it out? Y'all, it has been a long time since I've milked a goat. Um, I was like 14. I used to show goats in high school, and the friend I showed for had milking goats, so I'd go and milk her goats. I learned a few things from this morning. My grip strength is not near as good as I thought it was. And it requires much more skill than you think it does. Once we got in the hang of it though, it was good. You know, I've been asking Nathan for goats for a couple years now. I just really want, you know, get up in the morning, milk my goats, have fresh milk for the girls. And it just doesn't work where we are. We don't have the space for it. Uh, so it's one of those dreams that I've held on to knowing that not right now, but one day. So whenever Maya called me and asked if we wanted to farm sit, I was like, do I get to milk the goat? And I was so excited. And for me, you know, we laid down Rabbit Ridge. And doing that, I truly feel like God gave me this experience and this blessing as a reminder. Like, yes, I had you give up one thing, but I'm also going to give you another thing in place of that. And that gave me a lot of hope. It let me know that, yeah... I don't have goats right now, but I know that that desire that I have is going to be fulfilled one day. And it's just a beautiful thing. When he sends those little reminders and just what you're doing every day, like something as silly as milking a goat, I don't know. I know that it touched my soul. You know, I've admired Jess and Maya for years. Uh, their dedication to this farm, to their family, is honestly mind-blowing. What you all and my family get to witness is the bounty and the beauty of all their hard work, honestly.